Yo, what's good? Assalamu alaikum. This is Case in Point. I know it's been a long time. I've been moving. I've been dealing with management. I've been dealing with trying to get fights. Uh, it's been hectic. But now we are back and we got some good news. We have the footage for me and KSI sparring. So first, just some clarification. Don't get it twisted. I definitely can fight better than what you see. But I had to emulate Logan Paul while we were sparring because I had to figure out how he was gonna fight. So I tried my best to do some of the dumb things that he would do in, in the fight. And of course I had to show JJ <clears throat> what a pro style would look like. You know, you never know. You can only figure out what uh, Logan's gonna do by his video, but you still gotta learn new things because he might learn everything that I know in that little matter of time. Most likely that won't happen, but just in case, we had to get JJ ready for everything. I don't even think this was the first round. I think this was like the, the third or the fourth round. And I will say, shout out to JJ. I mean, the guy was really strong. He was taking some punches. It's hard to really learn on a job like this and, you know, for somebody throwing punches at you like that. But I mean, he did a pretty good job. He was ducking his head a lot. You know, some of the things that he was doing, we call it like amateur style, but he did pretty good. He was taking punches. He was kind of dodging them, kind of taking them, uh, kind of eating them with his head. But uh, he was doing his thing. I was trying to tell him like be calm while he's in there because he was trying to just throw everything possible. And at this point I was just kind of like playing with him. Honestly, this is what Jake Logan Paul looks like. Jake Paul's a lot better. So if they actually fight, who knows what they'll do? Who knows what will happen? But uh, you know, I tried. Tried to show him a jab, nice jab. It looks like what uh, Logan Paul was doing, I guess. One thing, he still can punch. I still had to stay away from him with that little bit. Too strong. That Nigerian strength. Caught me with a nice uppercut. Not too bad, not bad, JJ. I had to play with him after that. I felt embarrassed. <laughs> so I knew Logan would try to like pity pat his way into a victory, which he kind of did. You know, he was doing some illegal stuff, but you know, it is what it is. But I tried to make sure that, you know, I kind of pity patted like him, trying to make sure that I use my distance and move around the same way he was doing, bump him a little bit. Okay, I like that. Nah, that's a miss, bro. Good job. <clears throat> I was going to his body, man. At times, I would actually try to show him, like, this is what a body punch feels like. Bow! Oh! And that's what you call a nice body shot. That is what a, a counter body shot looks like. But JJ took it. I mean, <clears throat> honestly, Gibb was taking more body shots than me. But, you know, these are some tough guys for people who've never done anything. Now at this point, I know you guys have seen the video of Adele like yelling at uh, at JJ. And he was really pissed. Adele loves JJ like a brother. So I, my brother does the same thing. It's not nothing like trying to embarrass him. He just really cares for him. So of course he's going to yell at him like he's doing. He's going to cuss him out. He's going to do certain things to really get him in the mindset to win. J you know. Um, Liddell is a is a fighter himself, so he actually knows what to do and how to feel. He wants him to feel the same way. And if he's getting embarrassed by me, imagine what's gonna happen when he you know he gets into a fight. So of course he's yelling the whole time. Liddell's like, pick it up, pick it up, pick it up. 
I was like, damn. I was trying to take it easy on JJ. Hit me one time where I was like, oh no. Mm. JJ got a hard jab though. That's when I knew I was like, Logan's not gonna be able to deal with this. <laughs> this is Videl walk. Videl was hot at this one. He was like, no, he's he's fucking up. He's doing this, he's doing that. I, I don't like it, man. Must have stepped it up on him. I was like, keep stepping it up. I ain't know what to do. But then I'm like, all right, cool. Let me go and go to this body. Ooh. So this is where you don't want to like, you know, make the guy go brain damage just because, you know, you want to make a point. You got to like lean off him a little bit. But I had to, I had to punch him right here. And this is a beautiful move by me. I really loved it. Bow, bow. Yup. Ah! Point, I know I did some damage to him, so that's why I was like, you know what? Let me just pity pat for the rest of the time. And that's pretty much, you know, mm, another slide. Another, another slide, mm. This is where I, you know. <clears throat> JJ, I will say JJ learned a whole lot from this fight, you know, or from this sparring match. You know, when you get in there with pros and you get in there where they're teaching you and not just, you know, kind of moving with you, they're, they're teaching you as they go. That's what you want in some sparring. So, you know, of course, Vidal's mad at him, so he's keep cussing them out, telling them to keep going. But, you know, oh, that was a good body shot. He tried. He was coming back. That's why I had to turn it up on him. He tried. He tried. He tried. Nice uppercut. That's why I had to slap him. And I had to like kind of put some power on my punches after that. Cause it looked like he was trying to hurt me. This is a thing like the boxing business is a hurt business. This is not like a nice guy. Of course I had to put my hand up. You know, I figured that's what Logan Paul would do. He's a really, you know. They don't really know what to do. They'll, they'll gloat before that they actually win. That's the sparring. Shout out to Jody Khan for sending it to me. Uh, if you guys don't know who he is, he's the cameraman who's always behind in the voice behind the Mayweather boxing page, the Mayweather promotion page. And of course the famous Amra Abdullah, the one who kind of tried to correct me. So shout out to him. You know, I appreciate him giving me the footage. Um, you know, we don't know what he's going to do with Logan Paul or Jake Paul. Or we don't even know if he's going to actually fight uh, Jake Paul. I do think Jake Paul has a lot better skills than uh, than Logan Paul. I think he has he's more poised with his boxing. I think it's going to be a harder time for Logan, for JJ to really get the win like he did over Logan. But we'll see. I don't know what date they're talking about. Who knows? Who knows? And with Anderson Gibb, who knows what he's gonna do uh, after he did took that upset against Jake Paul. But we'll see, we'll see. I mean, both of them are good fighters. They're both good learners. So they just gotta keep going. They gotta keep learning. As you can see, apparently Jake Paul has been in the gym every single day, you know, trying to get ready for JJ. So JJ, should be starting or at least trying to learn some things before that time because it's that's going to be a good fight i will say so stay tuned of course you guys will see me soon hopefully on my youtube channel in my next upcoming fights uh we got some dates coming on soon so i'll tag them and i'll post them in my social media accounts uh facebook um instagram just check me out, show me the love. Share, like, comment. Let me know what you think about um, about the sparring. Let me know what you think about KSI's uh, skills. See you guys later.